One of the best ways to record high quality video, whether you're doing a podcast or other content, is using an iPhone and continuity camera with your Mac. And if you're recording with remote guests, it works seamlessly with Riverside. I'm gonna show you how to use it both in the browser and the new Riverside Mac app in under two minutes. Now we have found some Riverside users have an issue using Google Chrome and the iPhone continuity camera feature. So we would recommend using Microsoft Edge. It's a free web browser. We'll put a link to download it in the video description. And that's what I'm using right here. Here I've logged into my Riverside account and I'm gonna click go to studio. If you don't see your camera or microphone preview, you might need to allow permissions in Microsoft Edge. To do that, click the lock icon right by the address bar and choose camera, microphone, and allow. You can also click permissions for this site and you'll see the full list of permissions and make sure camera and microphone is allowed. Then to choose your iPhone as the camera in this Riverside studio, I just click the camera input and I should see my iPhone show up right here. And all of a sudden it's using my iPhone camera. You do need to be running the latest versions of iOS and macOS on your devices and signed into the same iCloud account. If you have any questions or having trouble setting up continuity camera, we'll put a video right up here and linked in the video description where I walk through all the troubleshooting steps. Now to get a good camera angle, you could use a mount like this one here. Oh look, it's a Riverside mount. That rests right on a laptop lid and I'm ready to go. For better audio, you can add a USB microphone. And once I plugged it in with a USB cable, I should see it appear here in the Riverside microphone choice, Shure MV7. And I'm gonna choose this as my speaker output and plug in a pair of wired headphones into the microphone. I'll click I'm using headphones and we're ready to join the studio. And now we're in our Riverside studio, ready to record using the iPhone back camera, which is a higher quality than the front facing camera, a USB microphone. Now let me show you the Mac app. The Riverside Mac app is free to download in the app store. I can open it here and we get a native Mac experience, high quality screen sharing and continuity camera works great directly in the Mac app. I'll go to one of my studios and you can see my iPhone was automatically chosen as the default. You can connect other webcams and devices, of course, to the Riverside Mac app, but I'll choose my iPhone camera. I can also choose the Shure MV7 USB mic that I have connected to my Mac, choose I'm using headphones, and I'll jump into the studio. And that's how to use your iPhone and a Mac with continuity camera for high quality video. If you have any questions or need some troubleshooting tips on continuity camera, I'll link that video above. And remember, it's down in the description. And if you wanna learn more about using Riverside, like our powerful new editor, which we're adding new features all the time, like animated captions, text and image overlays, and a ton more. I'll put a whole playlist right up here, our learn to use Riverside playlist. I walk you through all the new features and the entire platform if you're interested. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Hit that like button. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.